Good morning and welcome to my kitchen. This morning we are going to make popovers for Piglet from the Winnie the Pooh cookbook by Virginia H. Ellison. The first thing I do when I'm getting ready to cook is make sure that I have all the ingredients that I need for the recipe and all the equipment that I need. So looking at the recipe, we have one cup of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a cup of milk, two tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon melted butter or margarine, and two eggs. Things that probably most of us have around the house. Okay, so do we have all the equipment we need? We'll need a muffin tin. We'll need something to melt the butter in, something to make take the ingredients, the ingredient mixture and actually put it into the pan. It could be an ice cream scoop, it could be a ladle, it could be a big spoon. Um, a knife to cut the butter, a spoon to mix, and of course a bowl to put everything in, and tools of measurement. I also use a, a flat-ended knife so that I can get my flour as I'm measuring it, get it even. So let's start putting this together. First the flour. Salt, half a teaspoon, three quarters cup of milk, honey. Oops, for this one I'm gonna need a spatula to get it out. If your honey is fresh and you can squeeze it out, you won't need to have a spatula. The melted butter and start stirring. Oops! I forgot. Preheat the oven come back, finish stirring, put in the eggs. Because I'm using the 24 um, tin muffin tin, and this recipe is only for a dozen popovers, I took water and poured it in 12 of the cups, and the others. I've already brushed butter onto. Now you can do this if you don't have a pastry brush. You can use your hands, especially if you have like a surgical glove to put them in. And we're going to fill each of these that have been pre-greased a little less than halfway. and it bakes for 25 minutes and then sits in the oven without opening the oven door for another 25 minutes. And what we get at the end are popovers.